so Patrick, I, I have to ask you, you've made some of the greatest red wines ever, amazing things from Mouton Rothschild. Now you're making rosé like this. I mean, it, as a winemaker, what is it like? Do you, do you still, in your mind, you know, at night wake up and say, no, but I'm a red winemaker. Well, now you're rosé too. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I think that's a quality image. Uh, it's not depending only on the, on the color. It's depending on the wine itself. Uh, so as you know, you can have a great wine, not only in Bordeaux, in some other places. And I think that for the color, it's the same. Uh, we were lucky to, uh, to try to, uh, to, 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 to push the rosé in the category of value wine. That was our goal. But as a rosé winemaker, uh, what is new for me, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, to make a great wine pink. But before, before I was working uh, in Pauillac and I was making rosé before with, with the father of Sacha. And Alexis, some Alexis. of the first one. Of I was making rosé in Anjou, a lot. I was making rosé in, in Tavel. In Tavel. I was making rosé in Provence. Your first, some of your first wines were rosés, no? Rosé. Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't yeah. realize. I was, ma I was making rosé not far from here. So only a great wine can be pink. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> great wine now can be pink. And. Uh, Yeah, we know so.